Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. Now 24 here, this is the same thing as 2 times 12. So I'm going to rewrite 24 as 2 times 12. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 2 times 12, I'm going to write this as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. Now, I have this minus 1. Now, let's go ahead and calculate the value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, we know that 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 1,024. So then 2 to the power of 11, this is going to be double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So 2 to the power of 12, this is going to be double of 2,048, which is actually 4,096. So now I have 4,096 squared minus 1. Now, 4,096, we can rewrite as 4,100 minus 4. Now, I have this squared minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to equal a squared, so 4,100 squared, minus 2ab, so minus 2 times 4,100 times 4, plus b squared, so plus 4 squared. And I have this minus 1. Now, to simplify, 4,100 squared well, first, if we ignore the zeros, we have 41 squared. So 41 times 41, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4, 0, 4 times 1 is 1, or sorry, 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So now we add these together, 1 plus 0 is 1, 4 plus 4 is 8, 0 plus 6 is 6, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So I have 1, 6, 8, 1. And then now we can add four zeros because we're multiplying 4,100 times 4,100. So four zeros in total. So now I have 16,810,000. Now minus two times 4,100 is 8,200. And 8,200 times four, that's gonna be 32,800. Now I have this plus 16 minus one. And now this is equal to 60,810,000 minus 32,800 plus 15. 60 minus 1 is 15. And now if I subtract these two, I get 60,777,200 plus 15. And now if I add these two, it's equal to 60,777,200. 215. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 16 minus 16. Now, 16 here, this is the same thing as 8 times 2. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 8 times 2 minus 16. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 8 to the times 2, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 16. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. 
Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 8, and b is equal to 4. So I have a plus b, so 2 to the power of 8 plus 4, times a minus b, so 2 to the power of 8 minus 4. Now, let's go ahead and calculate this. Well, first, 2 to the power of 8, what would that be? Well, 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. Notice how it doubles every time. So 2 to the power of 4 this is going to be double of 8, which is 16. 2 to the power of 5 is double of 16, which is 32. 2 to the power of 6, double of 32, which is 64. 2 to the power of 7, double of 64, which is 128. And finally, 2 to the power of 8, which is double of 128, which is 256. So 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So now I have 256 plus 4 times 256 minus 4. Now, 256 plus 4, that's going to be 260. Times 256 minus 4, that's going to be 252. So now I have 260 times 252. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite both of these terms. So 260 I'm going to rewrite as 250 plus 10. And 252 I'm going to rewrite as 250 plus 2. So now, to multiply these, I'm going to first start by distributing the 250. So now I have 250 times 250 plus 250 times 2. Now I can distribute the 10. So I have 10 times 250 plus 10 times 2. So now this is equal to, well, 25 times 25 is 625. So then I simply add these two zeros plus 25 times 2, that's going to be 500, plus 250 times 10, that's going to be 2,500, and finally, plus 10 times 2, that's going to be 20. Now, I simply have to add all these together. Well, 62,500 plus 500, that's going to be 63,000, and 2,500 plus 20, that's going to be 2,520. And now finally, 63,000 plus 2,520 is 65,520. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. Now, 2 to the power of 20, well, 20 here, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 9. Now 9 I can rewrite as 3 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2 minus 3 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10 and b is equal to 3. So I would have a plus b, so 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times a minus b, so 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. And then now, let's first simplify 2 to the power of 10. Well, 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4, and 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. So notice how every time it doubles. So 2 to the power of 4, this would be double of 8, which is 16. 2 to the power of 5, this would be double of 16, which is 32. 2 to the power of 6, double of 32, which is 64. 2 to the power of 7, double of 64, which is 128. 2 to the power of 8, double of 128, which is 256. 2 to the power of 9, double of 256, which is 512. And finally, 2 to the power of 10 is double of 512, which is 1024. So now I have... 
1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. Now 1024 plus 3, that's going to be 1027. And 1024 minus 3, that's going to be 1021. So now I have 1027 times 1021. And now to actually solve this, I'm going to rewrite both of these. So 1027, I'm going to rewrite as 1000 plus 27. And 1021, I'm going to rewrite as 1000 plus 21. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by distributing the 1000. 1,000 times 1,000, that is going to be 1 million. So I'm going to add plus 1,000 times 21, that's going to be 21,000. Now I have this plus, now I can distribute the 27. 27 times 1,000 is 27,000. Plus 27 times 21, well if we do this right now, 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 7 is 14, I carry the 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So I have 567. So now to simplify this, so I have 1 million plus 21,000 times 27,000 is 48,000. And I have plus 567. And now, finally, if I add all these together, I get 1,048,567. So this is my answer.